Hi students, welcome to Seesaw. I'm going to show you exactly how to navigate through your Seesaw homepage. When you log into Seesaw, you will be directed to a page that looks very similar to this one here. Okay, over here in this corner, you'll see your name and a number here. This number is going to tell you that you have things that you need to pay attention to. Right now, it is telling me I have 15 things that need my attention, okay? If I come down here to this page, these are all of my activities that I have been assigned from my teacher. And in the next video, I will show you guys how to go about completing these activities. If you come over here to the right, you can see the name of your class so that you make sure you're in the right class. You will see that you are a student and you will see either your class picture or your class initials here. You have different buttons here to the side. The first button is your journal. Your journal will house all of the activities that you have completed throughout the year. So far, the student is brand new and they have not completed any activities. Once they do, they will show up here along with any teacher comments that your teacher has left you. The next area is activities. There's a little light bulb. And if you see a number here in red, this means that you have some assignments that your teacher has assigned you. Right now, Kat, my student, has 11 activities that she needs to complete. So when you click on activities, you will see all of your activities come here. Here are all 11 of my activities I need to go about completing. Next button is your inbox. Your inbox, my inbox is saying that I have four activities or four messages that need my attention. Okay, so your teacher announcements will come here as well. So like you can see here, I have a video I want my students to see in their announcement. I have this activity I would like them to look at as well as I want them to review our expectations. You would also get notifications here. If your teacher leaves you any comments on your activities you've completed, they will show up here. Lastly, you may or may not have this little button here. This is for your blog. Some teachers will turn your blog on and some will not. If your blog is turned on, you can see all of the posts from all of the different students in your classroom, and you can go and leave comments on them like this. Good job. And I can post my comment so that my friend can see that I thought they did a good job. Okay, so this is how you will go about looking into your Seesaw homepage and making sure that you complete all of the things that these red buttons are calling for. Okay, good luck.